What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, first of all guys, I want to apologize for not uploading for the past two days. Um, I have no actual reason. I just have I've been a bit under the weather lately. But, um, yeah. So that's pretty much that. But other than that, welcome back to this video. Obviously, this is not a vlog. This is another story time video because obviously I, um, I didn't plan anything for today or record anything. But, uh, yeah. So let's just get straight into the video. This video is another story time and the story is another one from my boarding school. So this is back, this is not even that far back, this is 2020, 2021 actually, yeah. Um, summers of 2021, this was during my Cambridge A-level examinations, AS level examinations. Um, I remember, uh, I don't know, uh, this is embarrassing honestly. Um, I remember I was um, getting ready for my exams, me and my, uh, me and my friends, we were all, always up all night getting ready, obviously doing some shenanigans and whatnot, but we were also preparing for the exam. Um, the day was around is uh, Economics P1, obviously if you guys study A-levels, you know P2 is always a bit more later on into the like month, I guess. But we gave, uh, we all gave our exam and it was like the entire entire 13th grade, so 12th grade, so that was the second highest grade in the boarding school. I was in that one, AS level again. Um, and yeah, I don't know how to say this without sounding like an idiot. Um, we, like me, my housemates, we all planned on all going to like our school the next day. So if you, if you like uh, in the morning, you can just like tell your housemaster that you're under the weather or something like that and you can just uh, basically get sick day stay at home uh, stay in the house the entire day or uh, go to the dispensary and sleep over there for the rest of the day we all planned that and ironically enough um we all like like every single one of us so there was me two, two, about five kids from our house that planned it all together and uh, we all had the same reason like we all we've all got food poisoning but the only difference was I had actually gotten up when the ha uh, housemaster came and I had to check. Um, I got some, I got some beans, some noodles, and uh, I think it was like some, I think it was barbecue sauce. That and then I pissed on it, and it made it look like, uh, like it looked made, it made it look like mm, something that you don't want to stare into. So the you know, housemaster looked. He's like, okay, uh, give him a letter and let him go to the dispensary. I was like, all right, cool, no worries. So I did what we all they all told me to do like what we all five of us were gonna do and I got that I went to the dispensary and, and the guy gave me some biscuits some tea there was a TV over there and a, a nice warm bed and I just I just enjoyed myself just relaxing not even 20 minutes go by guys not even 20 minutes our house boy comes to the dispensary he's like why are you here like you literally gave me the slip the, your house master our house master told you he said oh yeah, yeah yeah um so the principal and the senior master are calling you into their office right now i'm like oh no because i panicked because in my mind was like oh no it does not mean uh, everybody's been caught am i the only one left but this was far from the worst too i casually get up um i take my time i get i put some slippers on and i go the sand was not slippers sorry I uh, go straight to the housemaster, uh, not the housemaster, the principal's office and on my way there, I just see all my mates in the school. I'm like, what the hell's going on over here? I was like proper confused. I was like, wait, I thought all of them were calling sick. I was like genuinely like, caught off guard. I was like, all right, they, these guys screwed me over. I was like panicking now because obviously the principal is also my law teacher as well as he's like on good terms with my mom and my dad. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm in trouble now. So I was starting to panic a little bit because I wasn't sure what's going to happen with me. And lo and behold, as soon as I get into the office, the principal's just like, he's pissed. Like, obviously, I can tell. He's like, what, how do you uh, not call me? Why aren't you in your room and stuff like that? I'm like, sir, I was, I had food poisoning last night. I, I showed the house master. I puked as well in the morning when I was getting ready. And I went to the dis uh, dispensary just a, a few minutes ago. He signed my slip. He's like, okay, okay. He calmed down because then I showed him the slip, the signature. He called my housemaster. He can, uh, he was called, uh, uh, confirmed my alibi, and he was like, yeah, okay, cool. He's like, alright, can you just go to your house, get into your uniform, and come back? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. 
because honestly i was in no time of getting in trouble mind you all my mate, the mates are in like household so that's like um the house shirt and some black slacks and that you wear sneakers or any anything with a clothes strap a closed strap is what you wear for your feet so uh, they were wearing uh, sandals all of them i casually go back already come back to the, the school and then i ask my mates like what happened and then we have a business lesson so our business teacher is also our like sort of our classmate we went to this classroom we just started chatting you know having a bit and we were laughing you know what and then i asked my guys i'm like bro why is everyone here and then i see every like every single house like there's eight uh, seven houses which uh, has 12 graders inside of them and out, and out of all seven, uh, seven of them uh, my house was there and then the rest just like one by one started coming in what is going on i was completely out of like the loop i had no idea what was going on and then um my mate my best mate he comes up to me he's like bro a lot of shit just happened i was like what do you mean happened what happened just tell me like i was starting to get irritated at this point and then he's like so the principal came over to the house because everybody called in sick so i thought i thought when he said everybody i thought he meant like just all of us in general right so i was like yeah but we had the reason man he's like no everybody the entire 12th grade that's like what 40 to 50 students just like said we can't go today obviously the principal called on that and they were taking the mickey out of him and he went to each house one by one all seven of them waking us all and um, getting all of us out there in our dorms lining up to go to school and just like our senior master he's more of a hands-on type of teacher so he was he gave each of one of them a slap on the head on the face and then he's like get the um, the fall class mate i was like what the hell there was like and then one of my mates who wasn't in class but he wasn't in the dispensary either i was like where is he and then he's like so they came to our house they got pissed off and slapped all of us when it was his this kid's turn i'm gonna call him i'm just gonna call him k uh k for now yeah when k it was k's turn to you know get slapped he got slapped and they're like uh, the senior master like the fall school he's like no uh no they said many of the dispensary and a pyramid jump which basically meant that no i'm gonna go to the dispensary first then i'm gonna go to school and i don't know what happened to him and something triggered the senior master in that he grabbed my mate and he started being the living crap out of him like proper smacking him up i wasn't there so i don't know how much of this is true how much of it's false but this is the story i was told and hence why i'm doing the exact same thing with you guys he was trying to you know what i'm trying to get a little back pain yeah guys i'm getting old and my mattress is sunken i don't know how but he, the, uh, where was i yeah so after getting smacked by the uh, senior master like proper uh, he's grabbed him and stuff our house master who's more he's he's a bit of a he's not a bit he is a major kiss ass to the principal and senior master he come, he saw that he run, he runs to the house and he's like he grabs my mate by the collar which neither the principal nor the senior master did to any of us cuz mind you all of the, all the people in this boarding school are from rich and powerful families and there's been instances uh, instances where when the senior master put hands on a kid their parents have come like with gunmen and five to 10 calls and they back to you, try to you know the senior master so and the senior master doesn't go but uh, stays in its limit in his limits he didn't like do anything disrespectful i mean obviously getting slapped by the teacher is very disrespectful especially when you're between the age of 18 and 20 but still um he comes in he grabs him by the corner he said and he starts slapping him this is this is what word word what he said ye tumhari maine tarbiyat kiya ye tum izzat karte ho meri tumhe ye sikhaya and then um Uh, this basically in english is this is what i've taught you this is what I've, uh, and uh, this is uh, how you te- talk to your elders is this uh, how you were brought up bro my mate could have knocked him out instantly he didn't he just calmly said why are we going to beat the shit and getting the living shit beat out i'm not even like beating out he's just getting slapped man in an asian household that's like you know, once a day to keep the doctor away type of thing but when he was getting the slaps he just casually says literally no fear it's cool like he was literally uh, it's kind of like a tommy shelby moment he's just like mm, uh, he's just like yeah you got it got lo jo person all right and that in english is and uh, this is uh, uh, this is what you're worth do what you can no i don't think so what yeah i think that's what i don't know but he says that and the teacher uh, our house master i think he stopped then or after a few more slaps but he stops eventually 
and he gets up and he dusts himself off and he's going towards the school like the housemaster said go to school he's like okay and then the senior master kicks him from behind like right on his uh, boot hey as soon as the senior master kicks him uh, he also the principal screams from behind uh, right beside him that you're expelled and he was like all right cool then i'm going home today and i will be going to the police about the senior master and the uh, and the house master bro i'm not even joking Both, uh, all three of them shot themselves right there and then like oh no this backfired majorly and honestly i didn't think he'd actually go through with it but after that we then the uh, then in the middle of the story he stops he's like uh, somebody from the other classroom is runs and he's like uh, okay is at the uh, front in the front uh, what's it called in front of the in front door he's about to leave with another mate who um sprained his uh, arm in basketball training so he was going home either way so we hear that all of us just like jump we tell the teacher he's like go 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 and he follows us as well cuz obviously he front he's on a friendly turn with all of us so and that's understandable K, uh, we all run to K and we're like, are you going actually? Are you going to tell the cop? He's like, yes, yes, I am. Like he says, बिल्कुल बताऊँ मैं इनकी ऐसी की तैसी अपना कुछ समझते क्या हैं? Of course, I'm going to tell. I don't give a shit about these guys. Who the hell do they think they are? I was like, damn, this guy pissed. And then like he leaves and he goes for his um, he goes with him. And this is literally not even ten sec, ten minutes him out. Um, obviously his phone so his phone was uh, confiscated on uh, like a couple of weeks back all of our phones were because uh, we're not allowed to have our phones but we had our phones and we got caught having our phones and so the principal kept them with us we paid a 5000 pound and fine each we're going to get supposed to get our phones back by the end of the school term which would be in G- no august no yeah august so obviously we we didn't know how what he was going to do he goes to the principal's of uh, he goes straight to the local police station of that area and he's He's actually about to tell them the bursar, which is the guy who's more in, uh, in charge of the mess and like basically our uh, welfare needs. Is and in the he calls my uh, case mom and lets him know that he's about to do this. Just tell him not to and uh, uh, you know take a few weeks off and have him come back and we'll sort it out. And if you're not satisfied, I'll call the police myself on the guy and I'll fire him. And like obviously that seems like an enticing deal. Not really to my mate, but to her and to his mom. So she said, okay. He, uh, his brother called him. They called the entire thing off, and the the brother comes and picks him up, and K goes to his home. And by this time, I've also also left from my home because I was le- I was about to leave the boarding school this around this time. <clears throat> so I've left. Now come uh, come uh, comes around the um, uh, uh, economics P two and P one. The MCQ one, I forgot which one it is. I haven't studied in a long time. But the paper comes around, so we all come back to the school. Obviously, I started my A levels there, so I have to finish over there. I come back and I come the a day earlier than my uh, no two days earlier than my exam, and then a day before he uh, K comes back for his exam, and he's obviously gonna stay. But yeah, so the first day it's just like me, all the guys chilling, uh, just getting some snacks and whatnot, having some fun, got some food. And then uh, next morning, uh, next he comes back from his like holiday, and we see him and we're like, "Are you back for good?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah I'm gonna stay." And like his mom's coming in, uh, coming uh, next morning just before his exam to talk with him, obviously about the the whole incident. And then the house master, ironically, is like, just right behind him and he comes over as well. I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" He comes up to him, he's like, "I'm sorry," and like, "Don't get me fired. I have little kids." He's like, sir, आप जितनी माफिया मांग रहे हैं मैंने आपको नहीं पूछा. Some like that on those on those terms because I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Basically, what he meant was, I'm not gonna forgive you. You got uh, you're you're screwed, man. The man, the guy starts weeping and like after that, the sir and the teacher, uh, the house master didn't t- mess with him at all ever again. The principal and the senior master uh, try to convince the teacher that the kid was um, my mate was in the wrong and not the you know the staff itself. My mom, uh, his mom's like, I don't give a shit who's in the wrong. How dare he, you know, hit him and talk about his uh, upbringing and whatnot? It was a full fiasco, and it ended with <laughs> it ended with uh, the teachers all are uh, begging him for mercy, and then none of them messing him ever again. They returned his phone as well. He kept his phone the rest of the year. No one t- dared touch his phone. They saw it. They caught him using it. They just get, but didn't buy a knife. They just like looked the other way. And it was a, it, basically he enjoyed the rest of the year. I mean, I wasn't there for the rest of the year because um, after my exam, I went back to uh, my home and I was just like, "What's the history over there?" But 
this was this has to be one of the most funny experiences I've seen and not so much quite even traumatizing because I was like proper worried about, like what the hell's going on to, in that day but yeah um I don't have anything else to say other than that so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you are new um I'm trying to make sure I'm coming back to my daily uploads like I was a couple of weeks and days ago and yeah if you are still enjoying uh, show your support in the comment section below and I've uh, just been able to add more options where you can support me uh, if you see the subscribe button right next to it would be a button that says join and you can join and support me with uh, however much you want but other than that this has been Hamad hope you guys are enjoying and I'll see you guys next time bye